So now we are going to continue from where we stopped and today we are going to start creating the controller endpoints beginning with the first one to save privileges. Now how do we save a privilege? We have to first get the user ID and we get a list of privileges in the request body and then we are going to save that privileges against the user ID. Let's go ahead to get started right now and I also want to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss any updates and also if this video has been informative please like give a like and also leave me a comment if there's something you need me to clarify. So save privileges first you take a user ID you have the privileges and you actually should update the user's privileges. You can actually delete his privileges and save it new. Save the new ones you received. That is the easy way. And this is what we want to do right now. Okay, and one thing you want to also learn, we are going to do this within the context of a transaction because when we delete the old privileges and we save the new ones, they have to be, these operations have to be atomic so that we make sure that both of them succeed or none of them succeeds. So let's go on to our application. So the first thing we want to do is to go to user privilege assignment service and we are going to create a delete. Okay, so we are going to public void delete privileges and we are going to give a user ID long user ID and it's going to return so what is going to happen here is we are going to delete all the entries in the user privilege assignment for the user ID, for the specific user ID. So I'm going to go to create in the repository for user privilege assignment uh, controller repository, we need to create a method to delete by user ID. So I'm going to that repository and I'm going to create um, write the method to delete by user ID public delete delete by user ID and we specify the user ID okay so in the service we are now going to say so let's go ahead to write the save privileges method so it's going to be public and we want to return the privileges that we have saved. So we are going to return a list of privilege and it's going to be save privileges. We, go, we are going to have a list of privileges and it's going to be list of privilege that we want to save or want to assign to a user. And we also need uh, privileges and we also need long user ID. So just to show you how it works, going back to the UI. So once you make all the selections here, we are going to get all the selections and we are going to send it across the back end to the controller, all this list of uh, selections here, as well as the user ID. And this is what is going to call the save, uh, the save privileges. So this is the method we are going to call. We are, we are developing now the method that executes when you click on the save privileges button after you've selected some privileges. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is to clear existing privileges for the user. So I'm going to say repository dot delete by user ID and specify user ID. And one thing you need to specify this method now will be in the context of a transaction. So you are going to write, you are going to provide the transactional annotation um, to this method, which comes from the context of uh, Jakarta dot transaction. Okay, so we are going to now create a set of privilege assignments and we are going to, so we are going to take this list of privileges and create a set of privilege assignments, right? And then we are going to save that privilege assignment to the user privilege assignment table because we already deleted all the privileges for this user. So we are going to create a new set of privilege with the user ID and then save it to this to the table. And that is why, you remember, we created that constructor that takes our uh, two arguments, user ID and the privilege ID, if you can remember. Use a privilege assignment. I'm going to call it assignment is equal to privileges. I'm going to use the stream API. 
uh, that map and it's going to be privilege and I'm going to create new user privilege assignment, new user privilege assignment and it takes two parameters. Uh, two parameters is going to be uh, user ID and the privilege dot get ID. No, 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 not get user ID dot get ID. And we are going to simply do it to list. Okay. So we have all these uh, assignments now. We want to now save it. So let's do that. So I'm going to now say return repository the save all. So because save all should be able to save a set of uh, entities assignments. So once we save it, we want to then return privileges from there. So I'm going to use a stream API once again that map. And for each of them, I'm going to be returning the privilege. Uh, so we have assignments, right? and it's going to be assignment that gets privilege, I think. And then we are going to just say dot to list. Okay. Uh, what is happening here? Okay. Uh, okay. So. Okay. So that is basically it in the set in the in the in the uh, user privilege assignment service uh, part. We are going to do exactly the same thing. So this one is asking us to replace with lambda. That is fine. Uh, so we use a method reference here. And we are going to now write the controller method. So let's go to the controller. So we are going to also write the same method. And this time we are going to specify the, uh, the, the mapping here should be post mapping because we are having receiving a list of privileges. So it's going to be slash user slash user ID. And it's going to be slash privileges. Yes, and we are going to say public. We are actually going to return a response entity of string to tell us if it's successful or not. And I'm going to say save privileges. And these privileges will have two parameters. So the first one will be the user ID coming from the path variable. So I'm going to say at path variables pod variable user ID and long user ID. And the second parameter is going to be coming from the request body and it's going to be privileges and it's going to be a list of priv uh, a list of privilege. Okay, so we simply call the method we already wrote in the service. So I'm going to say list of privilege and uh, it's going to be privileges one, maybe privileges one. But let's just call it saved privileges because we return it after we've saved it. So saved privileges is equal to user privilege assignment service dot save privileges and provide it with the list of uh, the, uh, the privileges and user ID. Permit me to do this uh, inside a try cache block. So let me just do a try. And this is going to be inside the try. And if this works, let me just put a semi. Well, I'm going to return a response entity dot status and it's going to be HTTP status. So the status is going to be created because it's created a bundle of uh, new privileges and the body is going to be otherwise an error of code. So I'm going to catch it as an exception, exception ex, and I'm going to return it to the user as uh, response entity as well. Dot internal sub error um, body is going to be error of code, and I'm going to just append the error message, which is going to be plus ex dot get message, and this should be fine. Oh, sorry. So request body doesn't have any parameters. Sorry, this is my mistake. Okay, so at this point we are done with the first one. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, I hope we will have time to finish it so that we don't break this video in two. Um, so let's see. The next one is get user privileges. So given a user ID, we want to retrieve the privileges for that user. 
We are going to also write it here in user privilege assignments. So let's go to write it as well. Permit me to copy the... So it's going to be a get mapping to this URL, user ID privileges. So here we have the same, but here we have a post mapping and here we have a get mapping. And it's going to be public a uh, list of what privileges list of privileges and get user privileges and it's going to get data from the path variable which is the user id and it's going to be long user id so to get the user uh, the set of users privileges we are going to get it from the user service user service dot gets by id so if you say get by id that is not correct okay so we don't have the method yet we are going to write it so i'm going to just get user privileges we've not written it and we are going to just write it now user id okay so i'm going to create this method um, return and we are going to create this method right here so how do we get the user privileges we are going to retrieve exactly the same thing we did in the first part here we are going to retrieve the assignment for the user which is this and then we are going to stream it to return only the privileges so i'm going to just place this right here what do we return here these are assignments uh so repository that gets by id so we are going to write the method in the repository that gets user privileges by id i think we already have it fine by user id uh we don't have so we are going to write it so this is going to return us all the assignments uh for that particular user so we are going to write this in the repository uh right now so list of user privilege assignments i'm going to make it public because that is redundant but it's okay find by id it returns us all the privileges for that user id go back to where we started from i think we now have to stream this we are now going to stream it to convert all the assignments to privileges i think we did that here are these assignment converted assignment converted no this is privileges converted to assignment this is uh, assignment converted to privilege so let's let's steal this part of the code so i'm going to copy this so we are going to return assignments and then we are going to stream it and return the privilege and if we go back to our controller we have everything okay now Okay, so this is about get user privileges, get the privileges for the user. Let's now write the next method, and that is get users in privilege. Get users in privilege is similar to get privileges for the user. So it's basically about this, but let me see, uh, this is our controller. So I'm going to copy this and paste, and then I'm going to change it. So here, instead of returning the privilege, we're going to return the user. And it's going to be get user privileges, but in this case, it's going to be get users by privilege. And here we are going to have the path variable to be the privilege ID. It's okay if you don't use snake case or camel case, just maintain this case, but the case I use here, that is okay. It's going to be get users by privilege. And we are going to pass in the privilege, uh, this is privilege ID. It's going to be privilege ID. And we are going to write this method as well, uh, get users by privilege. So I'm going to create it. And it's exactly the same thing, just that we are going to return, um, when we are streaming, we are going to return, instead of returning, Instead of returning privilege, we are going to return user. So here we are going to do get user, right? And this is going to be privilege ID. Okay, so that's about the number two. I think I'm going to just take out workbench so that we have space. So we have clear assigned privileges. I think we already have this. 
clear assigned privileges, giving user, um, giving the privileges for that user. Oh, no, we don't. So clear assigned privileges, uh, I'm going to maybe, let me write the controller method first. I like to do a try catch as well. By the way, this one, we are going to wrap it into a transaction that is the safe privileges because it's calling a transaction here. So we're also going to wrap this in a transaction. And before I forget, the controller methods have to be wrapped in a transaction, have to be annotated with transaction as well as the service. As well as the service. So in case I forget, let me just annotate all of them. Okay, so let's go back to the user privilege assignment controller. And we are trying to now clear the assigned privileges of the user. I uh, like to do this uh, using a try catch. So let me just place this. And this is not transactional because we are taking the user ID, only the user ID, which will be coming from the path variable. Uh, so it's going to be clear user privileges and it's going to be string. It's going to be a delete mapping, a delete mapping because we are clearing user privileges. We are cleared successfully. So, so it's going to be the delete privileges and it's going to take the user ID. So this solves the problem in this case, it clears user privileges. Okay, so assign role. So this is going to take a role and assign all the privileges in that role to the given user. So I'm going to copy this and now we are going to be moving over to the, to the role uh, repository and the role controller uh, because you can see these three are implemented in the uh, the role service and role controller. So it says we should get all, we should assign privileges, assign privilege, assign role to user, takes a role and retrieves all the privileges in that role and assigns it to the given user. Let's try to crack that. It's going to be a post mapping and it's going to be here. Role, role ID assign user, user ID. So it's going to be public. Uh, when you assign, we don't return anything. So it's going to be assign user privileges, uh, assign uh, user role. And it's going to be taking, getting two path variables. Path variable is going to be role ID and it's going to be long uh, role ID. And the second uh, will be also a path variable. It's going to be user ID. It's going to be long user ID. Okay, so how do we do this? So the first thing we want to do is to get the role for that role ID and we have that role ID okay so we have to fetch all the privileges that has that role right so how do we do this we want to fetch all the privileges that has that role and then we assign it to the user so the first thing we want to do is to fetch privileges that have this role so it means we are going to get privileges by role so I'm going to say privileges, public, give me a public or something. So I'm going to say uh, a list of, list of privilege, privileges, privileges in the role. It's going to be, we need a privilege repository. So let's uh, bring in the priv uh, privilege repository here. So I'm going to say private, final, privilege repository privilege repository i'm going to remove all these auto wired so i so we can just do a constructor um, injection so if you, if you put final in these uh, fields then you can use them for constructor injection so add constructor parameter and yes list of privileges for that role is going to be privilege repository that finds 
by role ID and it's going to take the role ID is it's giving us the role ID for that privilege so I'm going to go ahead to create this method in the privilege repository and it's, it's yeah, created I'm going to just um, make it public I don't know why I like writing the public um, access modifier uh, even though it's not necessary so I'm going to now go back to where are we we go back to in the role role controller if this is a role controller then we are going to be doing the role um role service here oh i'm writing this in the wrong place okay uh it's going to be assign user role okay so we will be writing this method in the in the role service right so let's create the method in the role service so assign user role is going to take the user id and the role id so i'm going to say long user id user id and role id and the first thing we want to do is to retrieve all the privileges in that role um, which is something we uh, try to do in the in the role controller we try to do it here but this actually does not belong here so i'm going to just copy it out from here or cut it out from here and it's going to be in the role service so why do we have oh okay so this is a role repository that finds by find by id yeah role repository find by id find by id for the role repository let's check it's complaining shall we can just we don't have find by id in the role repository oh no we are actually going to be querying the privilege repository and not the role repository so this is going to be the privilege repository and we are going to find by role id retrieve all the privileges by role id so i'm going to create a i field here and it's going to be final the final as well because i'll need to now do a constructor injection so it's going to be private final and let's just create the constructor with the parameters okay so let's continue from where we stopped okay so now we are trying to take a role take all the privileges in that role and assign it to a user so at this point we have all the privileges uh in the role which is uh what we have so we now want to assign it to a user so there are two things we can do we can simply call the the method in the user service to assign these privileges but normally if you are working in a service it's always not the best idea to be calling different service from different service as this might somehow lead to so in a service always use repository okay so what we want to do here okay so we we need the other repository which is the um where we have the user assignments uh user privilege assignment we need that repository because we actually have to update that repository so let's include it private final um is going to be user assignment repository user assignment assignment repository i'm adding it uh, as controller parameter now the first thing we want to do is to now delete all the uh, privileges in this assignment delete all these privileges uh, from that assignment so i'm going to first create a set of assignments so i'm going to say a list of as, uh, user privilege assignments assignments is equal to this privileges i'm going to use it so i'm going to map oh sorry not you uh the stream dot map and when you map it it gives you a privilege and for this privilege you are going to create user privilege new user privilege assignments and it takes uh user id and the privilege dot get id and it's going to be dot to list okay so these are the assignments this assignment you see we want to now remove uh, these assignments from the assignments uh, uh, table so sorry I think I got it wrong here so 
I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to retrieve the existing assignments and why I'm going to retrieve existing assignments I retrieve existing assignments and delete them because if you try to insert new privileges into that table and there is existing assignments then there will be conflict so the first thing is to find the existing assignments existing assignments for the user delete them and then you can insert the new ones so the existing assignment is going to be assignment repository that's fined by user id user id we are now going to delete them so it's going to be user um, assignment repository dot delete all and you delete the existing assignments and at this point we can now insert the privileges that we have so um i will have left <laughs> i should have left it okay i mean i should have left the lambda i wrote previously so it's going to be user privilege assignments uh, assignments is equal to privileges dot stream dot map and you have a privilege and we are creating new assignments and we are going to specify user id and the privilege dot get id and we are going to simply convert this to list and then we are going to simply call the assignment repository to 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 save all so assignment repository dot save all assignments okay assignment okay perfect so this solves the problem uh, of the assign assign role privileges uh, assign role assign all privileges in a role to user so the next is on assign all privileges all privileges in a role to user but let's just check uh, let me see what did we return here are we returning after assigning so void i think this returns nothing so it returns nothing so let's check the controller methods uh, uh okay so here so uh, so this is going to be role service dot assign role user id and role id so this solves this one so i'm going to do the other on assign as well it should be straightforward so it's going to be this is going to be on assign on assign and this is going to be on assign and this is going to be a delete mapping role role id on i'm writing okay on assign so it's going to be on assign on assign to double s right so we are going to create this method right here so the on assign is going to simply uh stop at this point and delete all assignments for this user oh sorry no it's going to be so it's going to first get all the privileges uh for this user when you want on assign what do you do you create the assignments and then you delete uh all of them right so this is what we do we are going to first create the assignments using the incoming privileges so we have this privileges coming we get the privileges for that role right because we are on assign on assigning for the role we get the privileges for that role we create the assignments and we go ahead to delete them for the given user so it's going to be assignment repository dot delete by user and so i think we are going to do assignment repository delete all because these are all the assignments for that role for that user so we are going to go ahead to delete all so these are the privileges in the role and we are going to create for all the privileges we are going to create the assignments and then we are going to delete them so it's going to be delete all and we are giving it assignments okay so i'm going to save everything and let's see where we are so this is where we are number six finally we want to get privileges in role get the privileges in role so we go to the controller method and i'm going to 
write the controller method as get mapping to slash role slash role id slash privileges slash role id slash privileges and i'm going to check role role id privileges we are doing a get mapping do we do we have anything like that no role role id privileges and we will be returning is a list of privileges so it's going to be probably list of privilege a list of privilege and get privileges in role and we are going to be getting from the path variable the variable name role id and it's going to be long role id and so we are simply going to call role repository so it's actually privilege repository uh privilege service oh we are in role so what we are trying to use the repository okay so we are going to use the role service dot get privileges in role and we provide the role id now in the role service we don't have um we're going to return it okay we don't have this method so let's just write it uh and uh let's create it and then we can so how do we retrieve the privileges in a role we retrieve it by calling the privilege privilege repository and it should give us all the privileges by role so it's going to be return privilege repository that find by role id we give it the role id okay so i'm going to now stop here I'll, we are now going to test everything in the next part so for now I'm, i'll spend time offline to see if i miss anything so i don't spend all the time here in the next part we now test everything to make sure it works for now, I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below and we'll see you in the next part.